asap natin to ng total of 11 times platinum award. Of wow. course, para po ito sa Malaya, ikaw at ako at patawat. Bakit nga ba 11 times platinum award? We have 8 times platinum for Malaya. We have 2 times platinum for ikaw at ako. And 1 platinum for Patawad, and this makes her the recipient of the most number of platinum digital certification by a Filipino artist worldwide. Plus, of course, she has been recognized as the most streamed Filipina artist on Spotify. At sempre ngayon ngang hapon na to mga kasama natin ang nagiisang Moira de la Torre. Palakpakan naman po natin. Hi, Moira. Of course, the most Stream OPM artists natin on Spotify and now the OPM artists with the most number of digital platinum certifications. Congratulations, Moira! Thank you Hi. so much, Claire Jason. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Of course, your album Malaya, Patawad, Ikaw at Ako. These are all overall produced by Jonathan Manalo and of course under CS Music and Star Music. And of course, Moira, mga kasama natin ngayong hapon na to ang ating mga vloggers. At syempre, live na live din tayo napapanood ngayon sa Facebook Live ng Cornerstone. So please, greet everyone. Hi everyone! Hello again! Hi Miss Jo, Miss Kate. Thank you so much for for always being um, present in all our press cons. <laughs> Thank you po. Siyempre, itong ating Digital Bloggers Conference, na po, na, kasama natin yung mga bloggers dito at yung mga, uh, mga supporters mo. Pero of course, gusto naming malaman, Moira, how does it feel na grabe ma-awarden ka ng ganitong 11 Platinum Awards? Grabe ha. Pero siyempre, bago ang yan, iisa-isahin natin kung sino sino yung mga kasama natin dito, mga bloggers. Of course, uunahin na natin ang ating kaibigang si Kuya Alan from Star Photog. Asan ba si Kuya Alan? Hello, Kuya Hello. Alan. Hello. Hi, Kuya Alan. Hi, Kuya Alan. Ayan. Ang uunahin pala natin ay si... Ito na. Okay, sige. Ang uunahin po natin ay si Random Republica. Hello. Nasa, andyan dyan po ba si Kate Adahar? Please unmute po, ma'am. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Kate. I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations, Moira. Most streamed artist and most number of digital platinum certifications. Ano. Um, what runs, what's running in your mind ngayon? Um... Hindi pa rin po ako makapaniwala na nangyari siya kasi actually hindi ko po siya naiisip at all na posible pa pa lang may mangyari na ganito in the middle of a pandemic kasi hindi naman po madali para sa ating lahat. Ang iba, kakaibang season yung pinagdadaanan natin lahat ngayon. So wala po talaga siya sa isip ko. So nung nangyari po siya sa ASAP hanggang ngayong moment na to medyo lutang pa rin po ako kasi sobrang saya ko and sobrang grateful ko po sa lahat because, you know, I'm so grateful but at the same time, this this isn't just my recognition because I wouldn't have been able to do this without the people behind me and so I'm, I'm just very honored and very grateful and very shocked still. And with every award, may added pressure ba yun sa'yo? after parang pag nag-sync in na yes po um may ano siya may stages siya usually means that uh most of the time like today um this belief pa ko this medyo mga one week <laughs> one week yan mangyayari this afternoon mal- madadagdagan yung pressure na ayan may award ka na naman kailangan mo na raw mag- mag-step up and um but mostly the feeling that i get is really gratitude because when you know to this day even when i was starting i really still can't imagine being able to have this recognition and when you look back may times ba na inaassess mo ano kayang meron dun sa songs mo na talagang pumapatok siya kasi for an artist to get this number of awards grabe kasi some people nga they don't get a gold eh, diba sayo 11 time platinum award so parang ano sa tingin mo yung meron, yung singles mo? Um, hindi ko rin, hindi ko rin 
ko alam. <laughs> um, na- napakarami pong sobrang galing dito. Marami pong mas magaling sa akin. And so, hindi ko rin po alam kung paano ito nangyari. I know that at the end of the day, all I can think of is that God is good and that, you know, this is, I'm just so grateful that this was given to me. But if there was one thing na baka yun yung reason is because I think my songs are more than entertainment. I think it's a friend. I think um, a lot of us, we, um, a lot of us, gusto natin maramdaman na naririnig tayo, that we are important, that we are heard and understood. And I think that's what Hugot songs do in general. Um, kasi pag may, in, pag, pag may nakakaintindi sa atin, doon natin nararamdaman na hindi tayo nag-iisa. And I think mm. that's why my songs are effective because they were first on my diary before they were on the radio. Um, so yun, yun lang po na inisip ko on top of my mind. And, and, uh, thank you and blessed na. Um, kasi syempre yung feeling na na experience nakita namin yung journey mo eh from from yung hindi yung hindi pa ganoon ka exposed until nakuha mo yung break tapos talaga naging hugot queen meron ba for for you na fear of fear of ano to losing all this na parang mawala sa eksena or ganun or for parang lack of a better term malaos ganun may fear ba nawala ay nawala <laughs> Ano po yun? Sorry. Okay. Um, kasi given yung, given yung experience mo now na um, makuha tong lahat ng awards na to and all the attention, may fear ba sa'yo na dumating yung time na um, mawala sa eksena or yung nga for, the, for a lack of a better term, malaos? May fear ba? Um, no una po, definitely. There's, of course, you just got your dream. You know, this was something that I prayed for for a long time and i i genuinely think that a lot of artists now struggle with being with trying to stay relevant you know that's that's the that's the main um that's the main uh, struggle now for artists kasi napakabilis umikot na mundo ngayon napakabilis lahat um there are viral after viral after viral there's tiktok now there's instagram there's facebook there's youtube our social media platform is growing so fast and so big in such a little amount of time and i will admit po that you know my first or second year yung anxiety ko po lumala because i wasn't ready to let it go mm. um and i was so scared but also And and this I wanna I wanna speak to my fellow artists and musicians that are in this industry that 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 it can be the main fear in our heads but you have to overcome that and just have to live and go with the flow wherever God takes you because that struggle to stay relevant will eat up our creativity. And for a while before the Braver concert, um, it was actually a year before the Braver concert, na ito yung nag-run sa utak ko. But it was also the drive that I got that I was able to finish the Patawad album with my husband, Jason. Because it really is the braver thing to do. You know, it's it takes so much courage to not worry about staying relevant. It's it, it takes such courage to... You know, not give other people the power to, for for your identity, for your security. And nakakakain talaga siya, nakakaubos siya ng strength and ng, ng dignity. And so, um, over the past year, especially nung quarantine, na, nawala na po siya sa isip ko in a way because it really comes and goes. But I can look back, if ever malaos po ako, I can look back and say, wow, not a lot of people get that. And I'm so grateful that this happened. And now I'm just, you know, I've, I've, I've been in that mindset already. So nung nakoko po yung, yung recognition at gulat na gulat po ako. 
Um, I'm sorry, and I'm back. <laughs> Congratulations for being part of history. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kate. Actually, I totally agree with, with you, Moira. Actually, si Moira yung isa sa mga artist talaga na nasaksihan namin who really waited for for God's perfect timing. Tsaka kaya congratulations talaga sa iyo, Moira. At ang susunod natin magtatanong, syempre, ito, napaka-sweet naman itong ano niya, profile photo niya dito. Si Bix Boss, Michael Amasel. Hello! Hi, Moira! Congratulations! Thank you po. Thank napanood you so much. Napanood ko yung kahapon yun kasi ginunat ka nila. Kumakanta kayo nila, Nina and Miss Shaja. Yes po. <laughs> Grabe. Congratulations. Pero ang layo, ang taas na, ang dami mo nang narating na-achieve as a singer. Do you have any wishes pa or dreams parang as a singer? Ano pa yung mga gusto mo makamit as a singer? Well, at this point po, it's It's the same. It's the same. I just want to be able to do this for the rest of my life, you know, making music and um, being a friend to people as long as they let me. And um, and I also want to try going um, international with, um, we actually wrote a few songs with, um, Harp. He is um, one of Justin Bieber's producers, and so um, I'm very excited about that. Marami, marami po eh, marami po akong creatively, and I think I'm just in the process of collecting all my thoughts. But um, in general, generally speaking, my dream is to be able to do it for the long run. Nakapekto ba ang pandemic sa pagiging songwriter mo, and and how does it affect you? Actually po, nakatulong po yung pandemic for me to be able to write again. Um, mm-hmm. In the last three, in the last two years po, hindi ako nakakasulat as easy as I used to. Kasi yung malaya po, 10 minutes ko lang nasulat, yung saglit, 10 minutes lang din. Yung, yung um, tagpuan, 10 minutes lang din sa kotse. Parang dati po napakadali niyang dumating. And then... Medyo na burn out po ako in the last two years. Um, sobrang grateful naman po ako sa trabaho. Pero nawala yung, nawala yung chance ko na to sit with myself and to just not think about anything but my feelings so I can write it down. Um, but during the quarantine, medyo nag, naglayo po ako. Medyo nag slight hiatus po ako sa states. Um mm. And I got to write songs with my husband, and we started writing for our next album already. So, um, nakatulong po siya ng sobra. And it also helped me empathize more because I understand that I'm in a privileged position being in this pandemic. And so, my heart hurts for so many people. And a lot of the people that I love, I have loved ones who lost their loved ones. And that really helped me gather so much courage and gather and understand how just how privileged a lot of us are and we were able to write it into the next album which is about hope naman if this if Bra- if patawid was about courage and bravery this next album is about hope and i think that um the pandemic really really um challenged me and jason to to do that mm. We can wait to hear your ano, next album. Uh, thank you, Paul. But, um, kasi, um, di ba nga, that last kahapon, nagkaroon ng bagong programa sa noon time, which is SNL. Mm-mm. And you're still part of ASAP. Uh, did you get an, uh, offers ba to move sa SNL since cornerstone ng producer noon? And, tawag ito, what made you decide to stay sa ASAP? Um... You know, at the end of the day, po, it's it's a family. Whether they're in SNL or here in ASAP, we we are a family. And actually, first time ko po bumalik sa ASAP after eight months yes. in quarantine yesterday. So sobra po yung height ng emotions ko. And when I got there, I felt no bad blood at all. There, it, what I found was just family. 
Mm-hmm. And I know that um, I support SNL and I support every single person there. They're all family to us. Um, I, I'm just so grateful to be part of a family. Mm-hmm. Uh, pero kamusta yung experience? Kasi diba, sabi mo, pagbabalik mo sa ASAP. Kamusta experience uh, doing ASAP's in y- new normal? It's, uh, sobrang emotional ko po actually. Uh, kasi the last time I was on ASAP, may audience pa kami. Yes. Puno pa yung studio. And galing po akong Amerika. So medyo, medyo wala akong in-expect at all. Kasi wala... Wala eh. And then, I get to the studio yesterday, tapos um, nabawas na yung tao, tapos wala ng audience, tapos nakita ko po yung audience namin nasa screen. Sobra po ako naiyak, but at the same time natuwa because after everything that's happened, kapamilya pa rin, may pamilya pa rin, um, celebrated pa rin. So, yun po. So, we're emotional. Congratulations again, Moira. You deserve this Thank award. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Big Speaks. At susunod naman natin magtatanong is from Manila Standard. Please welcome Nikki Wang. Thanks, Jason. Hi, Moira. Hello. Yeah. Mag-join na rin ako sa pag-congratulate sa'yo for this uh, incredible feat as a, as a music artist. Now... I would like to piggyback on the question of Bix earlier because I like what you said about your songs being a friend uh, to, to your listeners since they are very relatable. Uh, but my question is, how has your, your music uh, become your friend during these very rough and trying times? Oh, wow. I, I really love that question, Zuniki. Thank you so much. Um, It's become a friend to me again because I feel like in the last few years of um, touring the Philippines and touring um, the world, it, it's it's been hard for me to write because I exhausted my creativity in in a way that I shouldn't have, um, and I could I wasn't allowed to write because wala na siyang lumalabas kasi pagod na eh. Mm. But in this pandemic, I was able to write songs like Anchor and Bullets and just songs that was really my heart and it was the first time that I was able to write again with no pressure at all. Um, I was able to write about my anxiety and my fears and the pain that I feel for the people that I love and for this for the Filipinos during this pandemic. Um, it's really helped me a lot again. Mm-hmm. And once again, it never it really never fails to be my outlet and to be my therapy. Um, and I really hope that when people get to hear it, it could be their their form of therapy also. It's nice to know. And of course, when there's no pressure, your creative juices just keeps on flowing. Now, um, you, you mentioned earlier that uh, some of your songs, it only took you 10 minutes to, to finish. But um, was there any song or any specific musical project that you put so much effort into and yet they didn't perform, uh, you know, well compared to, to, the, to, to your hits that we have right now? Uh... No, I feel like the the songs that I really put a lot of effort into, they they um they got that recognition. But at the same time, it doesn't really um not that it doesn't matter to me, but it's not heavy on my heart if they don't mm. you know get as much recognition because to me it's just an outlet. As long as it helped one or two people, it's that's that's a win for me that I was able to be a friend. Um. But closest one to mind, I think it was Take Her to the Moon for me. I took It took me about a year, I think, or two to finish it. And the story behind that song is, uh, first, the yung, yung chorus, niya, it was inspired by Inside Out of um, Pixar. And um, there was the scene that he said, Take Her to the Moon for me. 
Um, but then, wala siyang verses noon. And then I remember that six of our um, of our churchmates, they went on a on a mission trip, and they were all engaged. That there were three couples, they were all engaged. Um, five of them died, and then one girl um, was the only one who survived. And um, her fiance died. And originally, she yung na she yung um, nasa alam na. And then the fiance jumped, saved her, but then he didn't make it. And so that was what made me finish the song. It was dedicated to them. And it was very hard for me to write emotionally. But I feel like it's the most difficult thing I've ever written. But yeah, it didn't, it didn't go really big. But mm-hmm. to me, it was because I was able to comfort and to, I don't know. <laughs> We can never tell, you know. Uh, right now, a lot of songs have uh, reemerged uh, to be biggest hit. Like, for example, Fleetwood and uh, Mariah Carey, something like that. They, uh, after a few decades, actually, they reemerged to be number one songs right now. But um, I-, I would like to point this out because, uh, Moira, you're one of the the music artists that we find really humble and, uh, you know. <laughs> Very soft-spoken. I mean, all the the recognitions and successes that you have right now. So my final question is: What makes or what keeps you grounded? Um, my my team. I'm very very blessed to have the team that I have, and and God, of course, and my relationship with God and my faith, and knowing that this. This, all of this, these recognitions, it's just never about me. It's always been for his glory. Um, my husband, um, during last year when I couldn't write, um, he started writing the entire Patawad album and I finished it with him. But if it wasn't for him or Sir Jonathan Manalo or my Cornerstone family, my my handler Sir Mac and Tito Erickson and my star music family, I don't think I'd be in the mindset that I am now in, in the, gr- in, <laughs> see Jason, um, I, I, I don't think I'd be where I am now, phys- uh, physically, <laughs> physically, sana mas payat ako, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, um, I, I have, If this was not just me. If this was just me, I would have failed a long time ago. But I'm so grateful because I have the team and the family that I have now behind me. So it's really thanks to them. Yeah. And of course, we are grateful for your music, Moira. Thank you for your music. And uh, yeah, congratulations. And we hope to, to hear more of your songs in the coming months and coming years. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Nikki. Tako tama ka dyan mo. Importante talaga yung support system sa mga artists. Kaya, congratulations din sa handler mo na si Mac Merla. <laughs> Siyempre, <laughs> your success. Ano po, pansinin niya na ako. <laughs> And our next, na, our next is, eto na si Kuya Alan Sancon of Star Photog. Hi, Kuya Alan. Hello. Hi. Yan. Sorry kanina, kala ko introduce lang kaya naghay lang ako. Pinatatanong mo na pala ako. <laughs> Yan. Hi Moira. Congratulations. Hi Moira. Hello po. Good to see you. Fresh and mukhang nakapagpahinga ka sa Amerika nung mahabang panahon. Hindi po naligo lang po ako today. <laughs> <laughs> Kami naligo eh. Hindi ganyan ka fresh. <laughs> Tanong ko lang ano Moy. Parang ano lang eh, we're just curious kung, kung I don't know if you wanna talk about this or not, it's okay. Pero ano yung nagpapatrigger sa'yo dun sa mga anxiety mo na, na kung saan and how your husband Jason support support you dun sa mga ganong klaseng mga panahon? Oh, uh, honestly po, um, hindi naman na po iba sa atin yung nangyari last year, yung sa, sa ilong ko po. Um, and marami, marami pong nagtitrigger ng anxiety ko eh. Last year, it was that. The year before that, it was, you know, being relevant, um, staying relevant, 
um, being in a fast-paced world. And then, and then now po, um, may mga triggers na words. Um, I, I struggle a lot with my security and my identity. I, you know, I know that a lot of women um, resonate with me on this, that, you know, you don't feel good enough, you don't feel pretty enough, you don't feel um, celebrated enough. Marami po eh, maraming triggers. And I recently found out that I have polycystic ovary. So, yan po yung anxiety ko ngayon na, um, with polycystic, when you have polycystic ovaries, um, ma- maraming may mga maraming mga kababaihan na may picos na nahihirapan ng baby. So, yung anxiety ko minsan, paano pag daw magka-baby, ganyan. Or about my health, I, I with, when you have picos, um, sobra kang tumataba, tapos mahirap mag-lose weight. So, physical na naman. And then, um, marami po eh, maraming maraming triggers and um, I know that I'm not alone in this. I know that whenever I see people reacting to my songs, I see that they they go through it as well. Um, but I'm very blessed because my husband, he's so patient with me. And, <laughs> um, and he, he just waits for me to be able to handle my emotions and to heal properly, so I'm patient po niya. And, um, and this is, I know, I want to give this advice for people who um, are with people who struggle with anxiety and or depression. Um, the more you try to fix them, the more they're gonna feel how broken they are. But when you just stay there and love them and you listen, a lot of times, people with depression, they already know what to do next. They already know how to fix it. They already know how to mend the wound. But it's not that they don't want to. It's that they want to be heard first and they want to be understood first. And so I'm so grateful that I, I'm married to someone who does that and who constantly points me back to God and points me back to this this great love that we have and constantly reminds me how blessed we are. Um, so, yun po. So, ayun. Kung sakaling, di ba sabi mo nga, you have problem at this moment to to your ovary, if, if given a chance na, na magkaroon kayo ng baby, ilan yung pinaplano nyo ni, ni Jason? May mga ganun na bang plano? Kung if God's permit, kung, kung bibigyan kayo ng gift ni God, ilang gift yung ibibigyan yung yung gusto mong ibigay sa inyo ni Gat. Di ka na lalaki ba, babae ba? May ganun na bang plans? Sir Alan, sagutin ko na lang yung pagkatapos ko mga anak ng unang beses. Pag masyado masakit, isa lang. Pero pag hindi ganun kasakit, baka tatlo, ganyan. <laughs> wow. Congratulations, Moira. We just missed you. Parang kahapon sa ASAP, eh doon ka lang uli namin narinig ng ng ano your song alam naman nating maraming naglo-look up sa iyo maraming gusto makakolaborate ka maraming gusto nagmamahal sa iyo your fans your co-artists and you always uh, think about them that we are always there to 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 pray for you congratulations yeah. Maria Salamat Sir Alan thank you also for always being here <laughs> Oo nga, maraming salamat Kuya Alan. Laging present siya si Kuya Alan kahit sa physical vlog ko natin. Hanggang dito sa ating yeah, yeah. vlog ko. At syempre, ito rin kasama din natin from Lionheart, Richard Paglikawan. Hello. Ay, ayan pala si Richard. First time pa natin Hello, mag-meet. Hello, Moira. So, <laughs> Hello. Good, good evening na actually. Ayan. So, ang question ko, Kumusta ka ngayong pandemic? What are your activities, especially ng mga first months ng lockdown na kahit ang in- entertainment industry, syempre, nag-stop din. So, kumusta ka mo, Ira? Um, okay naman po ako ngayon. Um, nung nagsimula po ng lockdown, naabutan po kami ng lockdown. Nasa States po kami for my, for my US tour. And um, after po nun, nag-decide po kami na mag-stay in Vegas for two weeks with my family. Pero biglang nagsara po yung pal. So, so medyo hindi na po kami umuwi. Naka-uwi po kami August na. Um, so, it was, it was 
good for my soul because I was able to be, I was privileged to be with my family and um, I was able to rest. But um, I was constantly doing ASAP online still. And we also had online shows here and there. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just very happy to be back and to be able to work again. Pag uwi ko po may work agad. So that's, that's such a privilege po. Okay, in the midst of crisis like this, how is Moira receiving this kind of recognition, good news, feeling na in these trying times, isa yung music mo sa mga kinapita ng tao? Um, grateful po. Nalang na ito naman ako, putik. <laughs> um, napaka-grateful ko po kasi even, even with without knowing my name, just knowing that I was able to help people. That's such a big thing. That's such a huge thing because and dami, and dami nangyari ngayon sa mundo natin. So to be able to just help somebody get by even just one day or two days or an hour, um, that's such a huge recognition and it's greater than any recognition to be able to know that my music was a friend. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much, Richard. And ito kasama din natin from Manila Field, si Chad. Hi, Chad. Hi. Congrats, Moira. Thank Ayan. you, Pa. My question is, uh, looking back, uh, parang uh, nakita natin na subaybayan natin yung uh, journey mo from uh, joining a contest and now uh, isa ka ng multi-awarded na singer. So, how would you describe yung naging journey mo as a singer? Um, rough. It was rough, but it was rewarding. Um, I started singing my own songs when I was 12. Um, it, there was a lot of waiting involved, I think. My journey in general, if I were to describe it in a, in a few words, it would be rough but rewarding, um, scary but faith growing. Um, I remember there were a lot of times that I went to my Tito Eric from my, my manager and I told him, Bakit? Bakit lahat sila nabibigyan ng opportunity? And I always blamed myself for it because I didn't, I couldn't belt. I, there, I, I couldn't belt any song and I couldn't sing very low. I was, I was just storytelling. I was basically just talking <laughs> through my songs. And he said, he always told me, it will happen in God's time happen in God's time. So that, re that, that long period of waiting and now being in, in a season like this, sobrang nakadeepen po talaga siya ng faith and nakadeepen siya ng gratitude. Um, and it, also, it, always, it always reminds me that, you know, about all the things that God has done in the past. So why doubt Him now? So this, this journey of being a singer now it's really helped me in this story. I'm actually excited because my journey as a singer songwriter, I will write into a book. Um, mm -mm. I already started on it. It's um, the stories behind my songs and the lessons I learned along the way. Um, and so we can, you can read about it later on, but I really hope that it inspires people. Yeah, and uh, na mention mo nga na, and now it's happening. Yung naririp mo na yung success. And uh, since na-mention mo na din, uh, Moira, na you have uh, mga learnings, ano yung, what are the learnings na natutunan mo on this uh, journey? This yeah. pandemic? Uh, no, uh, on, uh, on your journey as a singer. Since uh, na-mention mo kanina na uh, may mga learnings along the way. Oh, ang dami po na ni. <laughs> yung top na lang. Um, I 
there's always somebody better than you. And the stage is big enough to be shared. I think that's something that my Lola taught me early on. Um, and I really love collaborating. I really love celebrating new and, and other artists because, you know, there's, you, you're always going to learn something from somebody. You know, you, you're always going to learn a, a nice characteristic or there's always going to be something to honor about somebody. And that's something that I, I learned and something that I, I still live by that, you know, dreams are better when it's shared. Um, and life is better when you make it about others. Yeah. And uh, Moira, sa dami ng hit song mo, ano yung pinaka parang special sa'yo or unforgettable? Among uh, these hits ngayon na nag-platinum? Ikaw at ako po. Why? Because we wrote it for our wedding. So, hindi ko naman po alam yung magtutu times platinum siya. <laughs> um, we really just wrote it to celebrate our special day. And, um, yeah. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chad. Siyempre, bago ko tawagin yung next vlogger natin, ha? I'd like to uh, welcome again yung mga bagong kapapanood lang ngayon dito sa ating Facebook. And welcome to our Digital Bloggers Conference because Moira has just been awarded 11 times platinum ng, uh, for the album Malaya, 8 times. Ikaw at ako, 2 times platinum. And for the album Patawad, 1 time platinum. Ano nga ba ibig sabihin ng platinum na to? Of course, itong equivalent nito, it means... Million streams, million views on YouTube, at syempre yung mga nag-downloads din. Kaya umabot talaga ng Platinum Award. And ang next natin na magtatanong ay si Mami Jo, Josephine Bonsol. Hello, Mami Jo. Hi! Hi, Hi Moira! Mira. I miss you, Moira! I miss you, po. I miss you and I'm always going to be grateful. Tuwing makikita kita, naiiyak ako. It's always inspiring. Anyways, um, during the pandemic, kasi I've always been your fan and always following whatever you do, meron kang ano, kinanta na nag-viral din siya, pero I don't know what really happened. Tinikto ko siya, sinend ko siya kay Austin. Yung ako ang kailangan. Ano nangyari dun sa kanta? Kasi dalang-dala ako dun. Alam mo ba, during the pandemic, wala naman akong huhugutin kasi 10 years ago pa yung huli kong ex. Pero tuwing, nung naririg ko yung kanta mo, parang nasaktan ako uli. Nananakit ka uli. Kasi ikaw ang ano eh, ikaw ang ano, tinataka na nananakit. <laughs> Ano nangyari doon sa ako ang kailangan? Kwentuhan mo naman kami. Um, surprise na lang po. <laughs> Ay, so may, kas- may kasunod pa pala siya. Tingnan po natin. Yee! So, meron ka pa rin mga ano, meron ka pa rin mga itinatabi pala na marami ka pang ibibigay sa amin na talagang mananakit uli si Moira. Tuwing <laughs> Okay lang ba sa'yo yun na binansagang ka? 11 times platinum and you are still, even though kahit na nananakit, may, may dating sa puso, may kurot, pero ikaw ang kailangan ng karamihan ng mga sawi sa Pilipinas. Ano naman yung mga gusto mo sabihin dito sa mga sawi ka Paris kasama na ako doon? Oh, um, thank you so much, Miss Jo. Lagi kang nakakataba ng puso. Um... I just I just want to to encourage um, everyone listening to my songs that you know just because your past is broken doesn't mean your present or your future has to be and so um, healing will come at its perfect time and that you are never alone. I like ko po sinasabi yon sa nagiging redundant na pero wala naman po akong power na baguhin yung future ng mga tao, yung present ng mga tao. But I do have the power to empower people through my music and let them know that they're not alone so that they can empower, they, they can feel empowered to face whatever tomorrow is with with extra faith and extra hope. So, 
Yeah, po, thank you. Thank you then for um to my I want to take this opportunity to thank my listeners and you know my fans for th this wouldn't have been possible without you guys and you know I'm I'm just so thankful na pinayagan niya talaga ako maging kaibigan niyo through the music. Meron bang ano, meron bang ikaw na pinaghuhugutan ngayon? Ibig sabihin meron meron bang naka na nakapag-inspire sa iyo na Hollywood or uh, foreign artist na ngayon mo lang na-discover because of the pandemic na kulong ka. Pero nakaka-inspire pala yun. Parang uh, sino yung ano yung artist na yun? Would you like to share to us? Um, I've always been a Swifty po, Miss Jo. <laughs> Swifty po ako. Um, and uh, I really love Maggie Rogers and Brooke Fraser. Sila po yung um pinaka tinitingala ko ngayon and Billy Eilish she's she's coming out so grounded and so 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 excellent in everything that she does and so um she uses her voice really well and so I'm very challenged to do this thing Salamat I love you Moira thank you very much I love you, Ms. Jo. Ingat po kayo. Thank you so much, Mami Jo. Nakuting na ko nga yung TikTok mo, Mami Jo. Ah, kung paano mo, <laughs> paano mo ginawa yung TikTok challenge na yan. At syempre, meron din tayong magtatanong from Movie World. We have Bernard Santos. Hello, Bernard. Hello. Hi, Mara. Uh, congrats to your award. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, Um, at your stage on your career ba, Moira, meron ka pa rin bang gustong uh, makasama or makakolab na artist na hindi mo pa nakakasama? Uh, wow. Um, marami pa po eh. Uh, internationally, I really want to work with... Um, Ed Sheeran, um, <laughs> nanganarap lang ako. <laughs> um, and, or even just to be able to be in a room with them and write, yun, yun po talaga. And, um, I don't know, a lot. I, there's no one that I want to collaborate with the most, but there's a lot on my list. <laughs> How about sa mga new artist? Sino yung sa tingin mong parang um, kailangan mabigyan ng um, break or nakikita mong may potential na sumikat din ngayon? Sobrang dami po. Um, ang dami po. And actually, it's yung if you look on Spotify on the top hits Philippines, it's all new. And, and I'm very, very proud of them. And I'm so happy with how You know things are going with in the entertainment industry and OPM in general. Um, Manami pong nabibigyan ng chance na you know it's not as hard as before. Um, marami po eh, man, marami. I think um, nabibigyan na po ng break yung mga kaibigan ko sila the ones and I belong to the zoo. Marami po eh. Um, No one comes on top of mind. I will give you a list, and I, I'm, I'm gonna be making a playlist soon, um, with for, for all the songs and all the OPM artists that I really believe in. So I'll, I'll share that soon. Okay, and next, na lang. Um, di ba uh, you write um jingles before sa mga commercials? So hindi mo ba na may music pagsusulat uh for commercials naman? I didn't write well. Um, I would edit, but I never wrote it completely. Um, the other day, I had a recording for something, and it was in the same studio that I used to record in when I would record jingles. Because, ang ang ano po ang system don. Um, pag gumagawa ka ng ng demos for commercials, ano may one five ka. So then ako tumatambay para may pambayad ako ng school, ganyan. <laughs> Kasi malapit lang yung studio sa, sa bahay namin, sa condo ng tita ko noon kung saan ako nakatira. Um, so, dun, nakaka, nakataba ng puso. And of course, I really missed it. And um, I'm privileged enough to be able to do another jingle. So that's gonna come out soon. But I can't tell you for which brand yet. But um, there's one coming very soon. 
Yeah, less na lang. Um, in future ba, there are, um, may plans ka na gumawa ng project na something out of your comfort zone or not the usual na ginagawa mo? Like mga upbeat songs, mga ganun. Meron na po kami nirecord last year. Hindi ko po siya lumalabas. But currently, we have four songs on that album. And they're all different. They were all produced by American um, producers. And we all we, we recorded all of it in the States. And so I'm very, very excited. It was definitely out, 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 out of my comfort zone. But it was a good kind of doing out of the comfort zone. Okay, sige. Abangan ko yan pag lumabas, Maya. Okay, thank you. Thank you, you. Thank thank you so you much. Thank you, Mr. Lord. Ang susunod naman natin magtatanong ay isang fashion photographer slash blogger. Please welcome Jan Bueno. Hello, John. Hi, good afternoon. Um, good afternoon, Moira. How Hi, are sir. you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, of course, uh, na, na, nakita namin na uh, you stayed a, quite a long while in the U.S. Um, from preparing the, the diaper for your godson to uh, also performing on Central Park. Um, was that actually like in your bucket list to actually like busk? in Central Park. How did that happen? Can you tell us a story behind that? Um, nag, ano po kami, nag-tour po kami sa Jersey. And then we had an extra day. So the ba- my band and um, my handler and I, we went around New York and then we went to Central Park. And nasa bucket list ko po talaga siya. Hindi ko alam kung nasa, I, I, can, I can post it. But in my bucket list, I want to busk in Um, a New York subway in uh, the streets of Paris and Venice and in Central Park. So I was able to do that. Um, we just saw a random busker na magaling siya and then nilapitan siya ni Sir Mac ta sabi ni Sir Mac, oh si Moira, she's an artist from the Philippines, can she sing with you? And so that's just basically how it happened. <laughs> very random. Um, can you also tell us Um, how has your healing been in the U.S.? Did it actually really um, make an impact on you? My what? Uh, did it make an impact on you, like the healing on in the U.S.? The healing. Healing. Uh, healing. I mean, yeah. <laughs> was it yeah. actually good for you uh, personally? Yes, it was very good for me personally because from 2017. Um, we've been nonstop, um, and I'm very grateful because, you know, I'm very privileged to be able to say that. Um, but at the same time, it was all nonstop. For, for my wedding, I only had about two weeks to focus on it because it was busy. And as grateful as I was, I was very tired. And so um, being forced to be locked in in the States and with my family. It was also the first time that Jason got to live there with me because I always go back and forth um, the States and here before you know, um, to, to visit my dad and I'd stay six months at a time. Um, but this time Jason was able to experience my other life there and he got to meet my friends there. So um, it was good. It was really good for the soul because I was with my husband and my family. You mentioned earlier that uh, you've had your share of hardships before you got to reach your goals um, and your the fruits of your labor today. Can you tell us like a little bit of like what advice would you give yourself like five years out, like like five years before you actually um, had these achievements? I would have told myself, if it's not happening yet, it's probably not time. So stop being sad. <laughs> That's probably what I would have told myself. Um, it, and I also would have told myself that trusting God will always be the best choice. Okay, last question. Who are you thankful for? A lot. <laughs> um, my family, my husband, of course, 
and my team, the people behind me. Um, I definitely wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for them. All right. Thank you so much, Moira. Grabe, ang galing, ang galing sumagot ni Moira doon sa Q&A na yun. Ha? Hindi ko kinaya yung mga Q&A ni John. <laughs> In fairness, eto naman ang susunod natin na tatanong. She's enjoying the best life has to offer. She's from Pinoy Screens and Stage. Trixie Daos, hello. Nak- nak- ayan. Sabili ko yan, right? So... Uh, yeah, um, congratulations for everything you've achieved so far. And uh, yeah, my first question to you is, um, kapag may achievement ka, like may natatapos ka, as simple as may natatapos kang kanta or may award ka, how do you reward yourself? I mean, how do you treat yourself? Or do you uh, treat yourself? Yeah. Uh, nanunod po ang kay drama. <laughs> Oh, ano yung mga <laughs> hanggang five ng umaga ganyan um, also with in the last few months we also got um, our new home we're here in our new home now and so now I enjoy ko talaga yung time with my husband and um, how I reward myself is really just resting and um, watching gay drama with my husband if napanood nyo na po ba yung <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you you mentioned K-drama. Um of course, di ba, popular then among Pinoy yung ano K-drama theme songs. Uh, do you have like uh, your particular like top three or something K-drama love songs na or kahit hindi love songs, gusto yung theme songs na tumatak talaga sa iyo and why bakit sila tumatak sa iyo? Um, lahat po ng K-drama na favorite ko ngayon, tumatak talaga yung, yung theme songs nila sa akin. Napakagaling po talaga ng Koreans to, you know, make such effective music. My favorite, bago pa lang po ako sa K-drama world, so napanood ko pa lang, siyo mga lima pa lang. Um, I really love Legends of the Blue Sea. So yung, I don't know if it's Legends of the Blue Sea, but, um, Yeah, they're, they're very effective. Hindi ko po na-memorize lahat, but I'll get there. <laughs> And so, I, I guess my um my other question is, uh, I, I don't know, I, I don't know kung natanong na kanina. Um, please alert me kung natanong. Um, yung uh, best takeaway mo or lesson from this pandemic? To always be thankful. Because we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow and to embrace your loved ones as much as you can because God can take them away anytime. So my last question is, uh, ayun, nabanggit mga napansin mo diba na sobrang prevalent talaga na OPM ngayon. And of course, isa sa genres na prevalent is yung uh, OPM and hip hop. So naiyaya ka na ba uh, na gum- mag, um, high pag collaborate for like a hip hop or rap song? Uh, not yet. For a hip hop song, yes, but I'll sing. Um, they want they wanted me to sing the chorus for the hip that yeah, yeah. song. The hook, yeah, but um, hindi ko siya natuloy. But definitely something that I would want to do in the future. How about rapping? I mean, uh, follow up lang na <laughs> na isip pa ba? Hey, I I I want to try rapping in the future. Just <laughs> just that na kasi para anti thesis yon ang style mo, right? <laughs> Ah, uh, siguro. I, I don't know yet. Um, di ko po alam kung paano mag, mag-register yung mahinhin kong boses sa rapping. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I don't want to say no to it yet. Yeah, sorry, last last na pala. Um, di ba meron ng CSTV likes sa Kumu and everything? So anong, anong stand mo or anong um, view of, uh, opinion mo dun sa... Ano ngayon, uh, nauuso na nagla-live yung mga yung mga artists, yung mga digital concerts. Ano yung opinion mo about that? I think it's great. I think, you know, as artists, you always want to find ways to express yourself. And so, you know, being able to express yourself with all these different platforms as your options, these are great, these are blessings. And um, it's also a really great 
avenue for you for people to hear you and i really believe that everyone deserves a chance to be heard everyone's voice counts so you know as creative as you use your platform it's it's really great okay congrats again and thank you Thank you so much, Trixie. At ito mga kasama, kasama din natin dito. Ito, di, lagi ko rin ito nakikita kahit nung mga press con, blog con natin eh. Kasama natin dito si Albert Bryan, a.k.a. Girl. <laughs> Albert Bryan ng Chicaness. Hey! Hi, Albert. Hey, mabuhay. <laughs> okay naman ako. Congratulations, Moira. Thank you, sir. Thank you, po. <laughs> Nahiya ako dun sa thank you, sir, pagkatapos akong tinawag na girl. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Anyways, dear, um, ano, kasi nakikita ko rin sa, ano, sa social media mo, you were sharing how you, how you started building your own home yung sa inyo ni Jason. How was it so far right now? And may mga na-reveal ba na characters sa inyo? sa inyong dalawa na you were surprised while doing this um, activity? Um, definitely. Uh, actually, delay-delay po ito. Dapat, dapat may pa lang nakamove in kami. This was actually the condo that um, I got uh, a few years ago. Ito po yung nire-rent ko. Tapos, after Jason and I got married, we ended up buying it because the space... It's not big, too big for me, for us to clean. Kasi wala naman po kami um, house help na stay in. So, um, it's really just us. And na, na-delay po siya ng pandemic kasi hindi maka, maka-renovate dito. But I really saw that um, na-surprise po ako ng konti. <laughs> I know my husband's great, but na-surprise po ako how how focused he is and how attentive to detail. Everything, everything in our house, he, in our condo, he conceptualized, he helped make. Um, sorry, sorry. Ayan. Si Jason yun na. Hindi pa And he, this, I'm actually in our, in our small studio right now. And I'm sorry. And um, I'm just, I was very surprised at how great he is in, you know, leading our, our small family and um, heading everything. Magaling po. So, we're almost na in love ako. <laughs> <laughs> how has marriage so far for you? Oh, it's doing so great. No, no first year po namin, medyo maraming nangyari sa buhay namin last year. Um, so, medyo... In, nag adjust na nga kami in living together, in being together, in being married. Tapos ang dami-dami pang nangyayari sa, sa buhay namin. So, um, it was a little rough, but then now it's it's everything I imagined marriage to be and more. Uh, and dear, um, kasi di ba ikaw mahilig ka din mag-drop? <laughs> Parang tinutok sa kanil Jason dyan na. Babe, <laughs> say hi. 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 Hi, Jason. <laughs> And dear, kasi di ba mahilig ka rin mag-travel, ganyan. And um, normally, ano yung mga t- kinukuha mo out of those travels? Like parang may certain mementos ka ba? Or do you create a song? to remind you of those travels? When we were, um, I will try to give an instrument. I got the, I got the guitar from, from the States and then yung mga kaibang instruments from, from that place itself. Huh? Like this, this, this one we didn't, uh, ano? which one? And si Jason, <laughs> gusto kong ipakita. <laughs> Wait lang. Paano mag ayun? Ayan. Um, Hi, ito po, Iba-ibang um, guitars. The two guitars we got from our tour. And then this one is from my, my Tito Steve. And then those two, 
Um, we have the other one already. Kasi tatlo po yan. Ito, tsaka yan. That's the Ed Sheeran Martin. And um, the, the other one is still in the States, but it comes in three and it's very limited. So that's kind of what we get whenever there's like a breakthrough or or something. Pero nabawasan na po yan. Marami na rin po kami napamigay. <laughs> <laughs> and anong tag nito? Yung next question ko sa'yo, dear. Um, like, kasi di ba parang um, nung, nag, nung nag-uumpisa ka, parang na, na, na-feel din namin yung, uh, like ako personally, na-feel ko yung parang hindi ka ganun ka-comfortable when it comes sa, sa stage, tas mahiyain magsalita and all, ganyan. Pero now seeing with all those achievements, ganyan, parang naka-help ba? Or naka-help ba yun? Na mas mabuus, mas maging confident yung isang Moira? Or andun pa rin yung yung maliit na spot na yon ng pagiging mahiyain and yung humility na nakita namin before. Nandun pa rin po. <laughs> Nandun pa rin po definitely. Hirap pa rin po gumalaw. Like yesterday, nagsayaw po ako sa asot ng konting-konti lang. Pero <laughs> <laughs> ngayon na lang po ulit ako kinubahan ng sobra. Um, um, I don't know if you feel this, pero yung, yung pag sobrang kinakabahan ka, yung yung stage fright ko po nagta-translate sa parang parang natatae ako ganon. So, <laughs> na-feel ko bago ako mag-perform kasi um, lagi pa rin po ang kinakabahan. I'm, I'm still very shy because I feel um, like what I said earlier with my with a lot of the insecurities that I deal with and I'm trying to overcome. Isa po dun yung I don't feel like I'm I belong. Um, Uh, I feel different, but in not in a good way. Um, and I always want to, uh, there, there's still thoughts in my head, like especially being on stage with all these amazing artists, you know, who can dance, who can act, who can, you know, belt. It's still very hard, um, but I'm slowly overcoming it and I'm slowly learning to celebrate myself because you know I'm I'm an advocate of you know of, for people who who feel alone but if they do overcome you know no longer feeling alone but then they can't celebrate themselves and I wouldn't be an effective advocate of that so that's what I'm learning now um a, a, a useful habit a useful tip that our pastor James Ethan um taught me and my husband is every morning Jason wakes me up and then after our prayer he tells me okay repeat after me I am loved I'm good I am worthy I am talented um I am good enough so that's something so kinakabahan pa rin po ako pero Um, nawawa, na, nababawasan na ng konti yung insecurities. Ay, gusto ko yung mga words of affirmation na yan. Yeah, you really have diba? to yourself. When you wake up each day with those kind of affirmation, parang feeling ko mas mapipark up yung yung araw mo. Yes and, po, and, and sobrang effective niya. Like, noong unang beses po namin ginawa yun, hindi ko siya, nagulat ako kasi hindi ko siya masabi. Tapos nung sinabi kong, I am love, iyak ako ng iyak kasi hindi, parang, parang nagko-contradict kasi sinasabi ko siya pero hindi ko siya pinapaniwalaan. But it gets easier mm. by the day. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> And last question ko na lang, dear, kasi si Mimi, yeah, she's very vocal of saying na kung magkakaroon man daw siya ng girlfriend, dapat ikaw yon at willing siyang aga- <laughs> willing siyang agawin ka kay Jason. <laughs> Ganun yan. Pero, Hindi ano po, yung... Hindi po, mali po! Si Jason daw po yung aagawin niya sa akin. Sabi <laughs> niya sa isang vlog niya, so sabi niya, oh sige, dahil taken na daw si Moira, si Maymay na lang yung magiging jowa <laughs> <laughs> Pero anong tawag dito? Dear, ikaw ba? Did you try that it really hurts niya? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> pa pa. <laughs> Pero feeling ko, papagtripan na naman ako nun pag nag-collab ulit kami. 
But I'm very blessed to have them. Um, see my my po and see Mimi. They're like my little sisters. And um, sa year po na to sila po yung mga kaibigan na pinaka nakikita ko. Mm. How do you feel na she has her own home? Yung Ay, success, di ba pareho kayong successful despite the pandemic? I know. I'm so grateful. And um, I'm so I'm so happy for her and I'm so grateful for her. Kasi nung uh, a few months ago lang po, hinatid namin siya sa, sa bahay niya dati. Okay naman, pero yung pero yung yung saya niya nung sa iba na siya hinahatid na nabigyan niya ng ng bahay yung pamilya niya after all that hard work um kasi nagrent lang po sila noon so ang saya saya niya and when i hear her when i hear her um tell us you know that breakthrough nagla light up talaga siya naggo talaga siya so i'm very very happy for her thank you so much dear congrats thank you. Thank you so much, Albert. At syempre, ang susunod naman natin is mga kwento ni Toto by Marco Polo Demo. Hello! Oops! Hi, Moira! Hello! Hi, God is good! Yes po! Yan. So, ano ko lang, uh, few questions lang, Moira. And before that, congrats nga pala. No? Uh, Moira, Uh, doon sa lahat ng mga song naging hits mo na song aside doon mayroon ka bang nagawa na Christian song? Yes po um, I recently Can you share um, a few of those? Can you share? Can you share a few titles or few lines? Oh sure um, I recently I recently sang um, Beautiful with Tito Ogi Okay. And um, during the pandemic, we um, we sorry, nakulong po. <laughs> um, and recently we we wrote this song called Anchor. And nagsimula po siya nung during um idol taping. Mm-hmm. I wrote one verse, and then during the pandemic, I wrote another verse. And um, it goes. Let me get the guitar. Okay. This capo is from um I belong to this guy arch okay In every storm your love defeats all my fears Lies we wage war, you fight the battles for me. When I think of your promise, there's a peace that I cannot explain. Knowing that you are my fortress, I'm no longer afraid of. You come the seas, and you are holding me. Let's up. Wow, beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Moira. Um, may, pero may last question na lang. Uh, what's your Christian song playlist? Uh, now po, it's uh, Maverick City Music. And um, Love is a Miracle, Communion, um, Refiner, uh, um, Anything Brooke Fraser, a lot po. Um, I can, I'm also going to make a Spotify playlist for that and I'll share it with everyone. Okay, thank you Moira and congrats. Thank you. Thank you so much. At ayan nga, tuwan-tuwa yung mga... nanonood sa atin ng live sa Facebook sa pa-live mong ano, sample din, Moira. Oh, hi, Ito everyone! Susun- ang susunod naman natin is si Kiko. Kiko Esquadro from Push. Hi, Kiko! 
Hi Moira. Hello. Uh, Congratulations po. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah uh, Moira tanong ko lang. Ah uh, kasi 'di ba lahat ng song mo is parang uh, for in love ganun. Meron ka bang uh, nasulat na kanta nung magka nagka LQ kayo ni Jason? <laughs> Pero bang gano'n na nasa album mo or na, nag-LQ kayo ni Jason tapos naisulat mo yung feelings mo sa naging kanta na? Meron po, hindi po siya yung ano, um, kasi po si Jason pag nag-aaway kami, na, naiisip niya agad yung paano pag di, di ako, paano pag di tayo nagkatuluyan, eh di, ah, paano kung di ako na, na nag-end up with Moy. So parang na reverse niya yung galit niya from galit to gratitude na kami <laughs> nag-atulungan. So meron po siyang nasulat nung nag-away kami. Ano yun? Mm. Kabanata. And um, yun. <laughs> Mada- madami naman po. Pero mostly um, nagiging source namin na magbate yung pag nagsusulat kami ng kanta together. <laughs> Oh, eh ano naman, ah uh, paano naman yun na result ba kung meron kayong LQ ni Jason? Kasi normal sa mag-asawa yung syempre hindi nagkakaintindihan. Babe, can you? Sino ba sa Hindi ko pangit. Hindi pa po siya naliligo eh. Oh. Oh, paano daw tayo? Paano mo rin na-resolve? Paano nyo po na-resolve pag, pag may LQ po kayo? <laughs> Um, si Moy naman, ano lang yun, dalawa lang yun. Um, papakainin sa kapapat, sa kalalambin yun. Tapos bati na kami naman yun. Ganun lang siya kadali, pag may LQ kayo. Pag nagsasorry siya, pero pag di siya nagsorry na unang matagal. <laughs> And Moira, uh, siyempre nagdaan ng quarantine almost, uh, seven So, eight months na ata ngayon. Ah, hindi, hindi pa ba napaplant ang baby? Um, <laughs> Maano ba sa usapan ng baby? Uh, gusto ko po mag-baby siguro next year or in two years. Um, okay. So, I'm working on it now. I'm on a special diet for my polycystic ovaries para um, mm-hmm. I can get pregnant naturally and hindi mahirap. Kasi iba po mm-hmm. yung Iba po yung um, polycystic ovaries. I also learned recently, I've been learning a lot about it. I also learned mm-hmm. recently that factor po siya kung bakit ako may depression, bakit ako may anxiety, kasi nag-add up po talaga siya. And that's why I think a lot of people need um, awareness. Because women with polycystic ovaries, it needs more awareness because it affects so much. It's hormonal. So may mga times na Um, it affects brain fog, um, anxiety, depression, infertility. Marami po siyang um, na-affect. So that's why I'm doing a, a gluten-free, dairy-free diet so that um, I can fall pregnant naturally, you know, in in time. <laughs> uh, okay, Moira. Uh, hindi, ibig mong sabihin, pag alimbawa na po, pag nalimbawang dumating na yung time na napuntis ka na, is parang in, parang kailangan extra careful. Ganun ba siya? Um, iba-iba po yung cases kasi eh, ng mga, marami naman po may picos na nabubuntis and yung hmm. iba walang complications, yung iba madalis, mabilis magkaroon ng diabetes. Um, oh. iba-iba po eh, I think it's just really, now I'm, I'm currently learning to listen to my body so that I can give it what it needs. Um, iba, 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 iba po yung bodies natin, so I can't speak for everyone, but for me, I think I'm, I'm learning a lot now. And last na lang, Moira, uh, syempre, uh, with all the happenings with our network, ABS-CBN, uh, meron ba nga halimbawa kung mo-offer na sa'yo na to perform in another stage? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very grateful for the stage that I have now. And, you yeah. know, I, it, it's still a, being part of, you know, ABS-CBN. It really feels less like work and more a family. And I think 
that's what we all need now. We all need a family to fall back in. And I'm I'm very grateful that I'm in ABS. Maraming salamat, Moira, and congratulations po. Thank you, Kiko. At talagang napalabas mo si Jason talaga dito sa portion na to. Kilig na kilig yung mga portions sa sunod ngayon. Sana all daw, pogi pa din kahit hindi pa naliligo. <laughs> anyway, ito na ang ating last but certainly not the least. Siyempre, ito save the best for last nga daw, diba? So, andi dito na ba siya ulit? O, oh, andi dito na siya. Please welcome... Reggie Bonoan, hello! Ah, andi, dito na ba kay- andi dito na kaya siya ulit? Hello? At Reggie! At Reggie, type 1 kapag nandiyan ka. Press 1. <laughs> si Mami Jo din kanina, kilig na kilig dun sa, ano, sa paglabas ni Jason. <laughs> Hello, Ate Reg, are you there? O oh, habang hinihintay natin dito, Moira, kwento mo naman sa amin yung, um, eto nga, oh, himay-himayin natin, eh, eight times platinum for Malaya, two times platinum for Ikaw at Ako, one time platinum for Patawad. Ano yun, paano ba yung naging ano do? Uh, paano na pagsama-sama yung na identify talaga na ganito ka ganito na, na 11 total of 11 times platinum siya. Syempre 'di ba we all know that it's all digital streaming online on Spotify, downloads on iTunes and other music stores. And of course kasama din dito ang mga views on YouTube. Kasama din ba dito yung physical album? Kasi ako meron ako ang physical album ng Malaya eh. Bumili talaga ako nung first na <laughs> na uh, lumabas tapos until now ginagamit ko siya habang nagda-drive ako. 'Di ba tinag nga kita doon last time? Pero ayun nga, paano ba naging nag uh, paano ba nabuo yung 11 a total of 11 times platinum? Yun, lahat ng sirabi mo Sir Jays. <laughs> lahat po um may body na nagko-collect and nagbibilang lahat ng lahat ng views, plays, um kung gaano katagal binu yung kung gaano katagal stream rim um It's it's a very um, hard process, but but yeah, with the stars and uh, the star uh, star music family, and um, I think those cap, marami marami po, maraming bodies na talagang binibilang talaga nila lahat. Ayun. At ito na nga. And kung dano karaming beses na bil na bilay hindi lang stream. Um, nabili yung physical albums and yung um, uh, yung digital platform albums. Actually, Kuya Jason, wala nang natira sa ano eh, sa Malaya album. Nasa akin na yung last 10 copies. So, um, ayun, we don't know if we're gonna reprint again, but we've, we've printed a lot already and it's gone. Actually, saks- saksi ako dyan eh. Yung, yung album kasi, a- a- kung tutusin ngayon, makikita mo talaga na napaka-precious talaga nung may mga physical album. Because you get to see all the photos and lyrics nung mga, yung mga napili ninyo para dun sa album na to. And alam ko yung Malaya album, when you launch it during your concert, isa ako sa mga nagtinda talaga sa labas <laughs> ng, ng, ano, ng venue, ng concert venue. At nakita ko yun. Nakita ko yung dami ng taong pumila para lang makakuha ng first and exclusive ng album mo na yon. So once again, congratulations Moira and thank you so much sa lahat ng mga vloggers na nakisama sa atin ngayong hapon na to. Maraming maraming salamat po. At sa lahat ng mga tumutok ngayon sa Facebook. Sabi nga ni Reggie Bonoan, pakisabi po kay Moira, congratulations, nalampasan niya na si Nina. Nina was awarded before ng Diamond Awards equals 10 times platinum. And si Moira ngayon ay 11 times platinum. Talaga ba? Sabi po yan ni Reggie Bonoan. Congratulations! Thank you po. And of course, syempre pasalamatan din natin lahat ng bumubuo dito sa ating digital blog con. Thank you so much to our Cornerstone family, sa lahat ng mga nandiyan sa backstage, sila Kares, sila Austin, at syempre ang iyong handler na si Mac Merla, si Kuya Erickson, our president. Hello. At syempre, of course, I'd also like to congratulate Star Music. 
overall album producer si Mr. Jonathan Manalo and of course si Sir Roxy Likigan, Sir Roxy. At syempre, ikaw nang hamoy na magpasalamat. Ako ba yung na-awardan? <laughs> Pinasalamatan ko lahat. Syempre, ito pa lang pa natin ang ating most stream artist, Moira! Thank you. Um, I, I just want to thank all the listeners first and foremost for, you know, making this possible for um, your con- your constant support and love for for us and our music. Maraming maraming salamat po. Um, I want to thank Star Music family, Sir Roxy Ligigan, Sir Alex, at the Mela, Sir Jonathan Manalo, the Lead family, uh, my Cornerstone Studios family, my Tito Eric San Raimundo, my Sir Mac Merla, Kuya Jeff Badillo, and to my Cornerstone family, at the Teres, at the Sith, Kuya Jason, um, sila po yung patiently na nakikinig sa mga kanta ko, um, magmumura sila pag masakit talaga, yung <laughs> medyo nakakakuha ng validation <laughs> pag ganon. Um, thank you so much for for all of that. Thank you for, thank you to my band. Um, sila po, I share, I share these awards with my, with my band as well because um, sila po, lahat nag, nag, um, nag-arrange, sila, si Jason po, um, and si Sir Jonathan Manalo, pinagtulungan po namin talaga and the band, The same band I had for the Malaya album is the same band that I have in all my songs. And they've been my only band for the past six years. And so I'm very, very grateful for them. My drummer, Luke Sigua, um, my guitarist, Luis Cortez, my electric guitarist, um, Jarek Pahaba, my bassist and musical director, James Narvaez, and my pianist, um, Chris Rosales, and of course, my husband, Who writes, who writes majority of the songs now and sings with me and plays the guitar for me. That's Jason Marvin. Um, also, I I want to thank my ASAP and ABS-CBN family for, you know, allowing me to use their platform to let my music be heard. And um, and most importantly, uh, and and my team, my makeup artist, Ade Nikki Medina, Ade Tere, my... my uh, my stylist Mir at the Aika and and my hairstylists Mama Flo and Mama MJ. Um, as as I said earlier, so kabado po ako every single time. I fa- I have to face the camera every single time. I have to go on stage, but they're always on the side, just cheering me on or making me laugh or making fun of me in a good way. <laughs> and they all they never fail to lift my spirits up and. Um, at the cha, at the Leia and my at the chai, I at the chai, my at the Leia and chai chai and my RMCJ and um, lahat po. I'm so grateful because I have such a great and loving team. But most importantly, I want to thank these two people because if not for them, this these albums wouldn't be what they are now. And of course, my husband Jason, he is behind a lot of it he helps me process things creatively and helps me execute them and um the person that i want to share this with the most is my sir jonathan manalo he is my producer he is my friend um whenever i feel scared he is the one i run to the most after jason because he understands me artistically emotionally mentally and It, it feels so good to have a friend in the <laughs> in the most awarded producer in our country. Um, he is amazing. He is a genius, and and I I wouldn't be as strong today if if I didn't have him by my side. So, Sir Jonathan, I love you so much. Thank you for everything, and um, to everyone, to the moisters, and to this to this team of. Um, of bloggers, maraming maraming salamat po for always supporting me. It, it it makes such a big difference when you write about me and marami pong mga writers na they would twist my words and, you know, put words in my mouth. But thank you for always being authentic, for always um, putting me in a good light and for always having compassion for me. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Thank you so much, Moira. Once again, congratulations. Grabe. And of course, maraming maraming salamat po ulit sa lahat ng mga bloggers at sa lahat ng mga 
fans and supporters na nanonood ngayon, definitely this is part of history kasi um, this is part of OPM history. This is part of our music industry. Being Mo- Moira being the OPM being the OPM artist with the most number of digital platinum certifications. Of course, congratulations again Moira. And this opportunity for for allowing us of course to ask you questions how does it feel to be awarded this prestigious award and maraming maraming salamat po ulit sa mga umaten po ngayon ng mga bloggers natin and to all our fans on Facebook live ng Cornerstone thank you so much for watching kay Jason Jason Marvin hello and of course yung kasama mo sino kasama mo ngayon mo kasi po si Hi, Pucci. Hi, Pucci. <laughs> Ayan, Kuya Alan din. Meron din siyang inaano. Oo oh, nga eh. <laughs> yeah, Miss Maya. Hi, Maya. <laughs> There you have it, guys. Once again, congratulations, Moira, the OPM artist with the most number of digital platinum certification. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today sa ating Digital Bloggers Conference with the one and only the most streamed artist on Spotify, Moira. Bye! Bye! Thank you, po.